you're doing. That's great. <laughs> that okay. Yeah. Welcome, Quentin. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Hey, everybody. Paul here at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. We're checking out an Eastman guitar today, okay? Gypsy jazz style. Yeah, There's the, probably the a lot DM1 of... DM1 model. DM1 is yep. the model, yep. And uh, I thank you for giving me your... This is a different guitar. Right. It's not something that, that uh, me and Quentin are used to even doing. But, you know, over the years here, we've always kept uh, this style of guitar in the store. I mean, we've always carried one... It's not our specialty. There's not like right. a huge population of gypsy pe people jazz who play guitars, this, right. this kind of music. This is kind of a niche instrument. It is niche. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Like I said, when I'm home cooking, I listen to Django Radio. Right. All right. Django and Reinhardt. Django the, Reinhardt. And the, let's, you know. Yeah. Well, just a little background. Was, if you're if you're not familiar with Django Reinhardt, then strongly encourage you to go out. To, uh, on your YouTube rabbit holes and explore some some Django Reinhardt, Stefan Grappelli, the the Hot Club of Paris, I think was yeah. their quintet, yeah. and um, really a uh, incredibly influential uh, contributor to guitar music. I mean, he was, I think, by many accounts, the original guitar shredder back at a time when yeah. guitar wasn't quite a lead instrument the way in the it is 20s, nowadays. Right? You know, it in the I think 20s, it might maybe? have been a little later, 30s? like through the 30s and 40s, yeah. uh, even up through the 50s, I, yeah. I think. I'm not sure. Somebody can yeah. correct me. But um, he was doing these very rapid fire, you know, aggressive, uh, fast guitar uh, give us melodies. A little, uh, just give us some, oh, I can, even I some of the chord, even oh, some yeah. of the so punch. Yeah. So the, gypsy, the quintessential uh, gypsy swing rhythm is like... Uh, It's got it's cool. got a really unique sound. Um, so he was a gypsy. You were he, saying he was, he's he a, was a true yeah. like you know gypsy in, in France. And what makes him extra special, I think, deserving of not was he just a, a fantastic technician guitarist, but he did so. He had uh, there was a fire. This is the story I've heard. Um, there was a fire in his caravan. He lived in a, like a mobile, uh, the equivalent of the mobile home type sure. thing back in the 40s or 50s. And there was a fire. And in the fire, he severely burned uh, the r ring and pinky finger on his on his fretting hand. He started off as a banjo player, is what I believe. Okay. Um, and um, the, the fingers were so badly burned and the tendons and everything locked up so that he was uh, forced to kind of uh, adapt and overcome that, that uh, disability. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he did so fantastically, yep. developing this very unique style using two fingers. Uh, to and look him up on YouTube and watch yeah. it. It's, it's mind-blowing it. how... His two fingers move, yeah. and a lot of it, you know, in his picking hands. Oh, this so great, you know. There's um, a style to that tremolo style, and you know, a lot of glissandos. I can't do it. I've always yeah. faked it. Yeah. You know, this really cool, cool style. It's yeah. a, it's a unique uh, style of music. There's a great movie uh, we were talking oh, yeah. about early. One of my favorites, Sweet and Low Down. Sweet and Low Down. Yeah. And Sean it's, uh, Penn. Sean Penn. Yeah. And he's a gypsy jazz he plays musician in the United States, yeah. and he always refers to himself as the second greatest guitar player yeah. in the world after some French guy who. Yeah. Whereas, you know, he was referring yeah. to Django Reinhardt. Yeah. It's movie. a great movie. Yeah. Awesome anyway. movie. I love this style. So, mm -hmm. you know, and we're, you know, this is hopefully going to help someone who wants to get into this. If you want to get into this style, we're just kind of helping you um, understand yeah. this style maybe. And, and, then, and well, these, just a little introduction. And these guitars uh, are amazing too. Familiar. If you are familiar, then, then you would know that uh, these types of guitars, uh, the replicas of the, the older summer McAfee style guitars, yeah. uh, unique instruments, very unique in, in a number of facets. You can see, I mean, it's got this strange little fret right behind yeah, the, the little zero nut. Fret. Yeah, and then, you know, these big mustache bridges. It's got this, uh, you know, unique, um, what do you call this piece? The tailpiece? Yeah, the tailpiece, uh, And, yeah. you know, so it gives all together, you put all these things together, the bracing, the woods, and it gives it um, a snappy kind of mid-tone, and that's, I think, intended for those... Uh, yeah. Gypsy style solos that are going to cut through a, a, a banging rhythm, yep. um, and you know, so it's got this yeah. um, tone that that is very unique to that genre of music. But uh, there's a lot of makers who produce these types of guitars, these instruments, and you could pay hundreds up to many, many thousands for yeah. you know, very high end gypsy uh, guitars. And I think this one, 
It's is, just a great price point for the quality. Eastman's of, been doing of, a of fantastic job. We, of, we love of their guitars, all their guitars. Yep. And if you're at all interested in gypsy jazz as a style, and you want to capture that quintessential yeah. guitar tone, you kind of need a gypsy guitar to you get there. Right. And I think this one provides um, a, a sweet spot for yep. all of the features. Really good playability. Well, you always, I always tell people. So some people will come in the store and pick this up and play, it and they go, "Wow, this thing." sounds horrible and because they're not playing the, the style right so if you nope. play one of your bluegrass licks on this this would be like some some gypsy you would players get, rolling over <laughs> in their respective uh eternal resting place if you pop that to your gig and you started doing that your, your guys would be well first of all you wouldn't even be hurt well, that's the, that would probably be the neat thing. It'd be a neat test because I bet yeah. you with the punchiness, you would still cut through when you solo. Just not the right uh, tone. Just a different. If people would kind of you know. So what's neat about gypsy music and bluegrass is they've yeah. kind of converged in various uh, incarnations over the years. Probably most notably um, with David Grisman and dog music. It's kind of like a swingy yeah. merge of of gypsy and bluegrass. Uh, so. Anyway, really neat instruments. Uh, if you get a chance to try one out, this Eastman, I've played a number of different styles of uh, a number of different makers. Um, yeah. And this one really brings a lot of great features together. It's it's very playable. It's got that yeah. nice sound. Play that, so. like, you know, there's that, just that nice, chunky, right at the end. Yeah. Price points. Yep. Available at Music Villa. Like I said, come on down. It's a it's a great guitar to just experiment with. If you haven't had a chance, check out you know this style of music, gypsy jazz, Django Reinhardt, of course. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, artists who great who players, are modern amazing. players. You, you uh, will... What's the one who's here? Uh, he was here. He played. Well, we've got the, John uh, Jorgensen. John Jorgensen. Got, there you go. Uh, He's got a signature model too. The um, God, there's a Rosenberg trio. There's, there's so many fantastic players. Yeah. And you know, the neat thing about Gypsy Jazz and Django himself, he was a huge lover of American jazz music. So uh, the, the swing part comes from you know some swing music, but he brought in a lot of these kind of Eastern European, you know, the... Those, those um, more folkish Eastern European melodies yeah. as um, soloing elements over top of some traditional American jazz song. So it's just a really it's great fun. mashup. I love it. Fun like stuff. Like I said, it's great cooking music. Uh, <laughs> it's good kitchen With music. With a good I'm wine. Telling you, you know? Good wine. And uh, thanks, Quentin. Yeah, you uh, bet. That was fun. Yep. Uh, something we have not done before. Very cool and uh, these are available. And uh, Eastman is making the wonderful stuff. So come down, check it out. And thanks for watching.